Welcome to the cloud network. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install Cloud Linux version 6.5, a test version uh, on your virtual box. You can install on server, desktop and laptop also with the help of pen drive and DVD MT. You need to make a pen drive or DVD bootable so that you can install in that server and desktop laptop also. And you can install not only on desktop server also in VM uh, workstation also you can install. Now I will show you how to install in VirtualBox. What is Cloud Linux? Cloud Linux is based on operating system that create a stable hosting environment for all your web and reseller hosting customer. That's keep a single account for away overwhelming servers and cause your slow performance causing and turn time so it's reduce your slowdown performance and turn times turn times and this cloud linux operating system is used on all the web hosting and reseller hosting servers to give a peace of mind that your service is not going to become a slow and unresponsive due to your other customer access resources use so this is a requirement uh, cloud linux running. this is the link where you can download this uh, cloud linux let me show you first of all you need to download a virtual box uh, just type on google virtual box uh, here is a download link just click on this download link and you will become on the website of virtual box this is a oracle virtual box and this is your uh, links that you are going to download about 32 bit and 64 bit supported and this is for windows os Linux Solaris purpose. If you are using Linux OS means you can download this virtual box for Windows purpose. You can download 32 bit and 64 bit supported. So this is the latest version you can download. And uh, here is a VMware workstation. Just type on Google and open. This is a workstation about the VMware. Uh, you can download for Linux and Windows supported. And then after that you can install Cloud Linux in that one. Let me show you Cloud Linux links. Just open this Google, uh, type uh, Cloud Linux download, and here is the website. You can see this is uh, Cloud Linux website, and here is the first link of your download, which is given the link here. And this is the website of Cloud Linux is showing about this site. But more features you can read here in Linux Cloud OS, and this is the link where you can download uh, your new ISO image. This is the stable version Linux 6.5 latest version that is uh, used in this one uh, this is for 64 bit supported link which i have downloaded now and this is a 32 bit supported uh, for latest version if you want previously version me 5.11 is a version for 64 bit 32 bit support and release it on october 10 to february so this is a link where i have uh, so just click on this uh, 64 bit uh, it will be see you can see on screens this 1.2 GB is the size of 64 bit 6.5 GB. Uh, 6.5 is the version 64 bit supported, which I have already downloaded. Uh, let me show you. Uh, this one is which I have downloaded now. I submit. Let me show you how to install your virtual box. Open your virtual box. Uh, download in my uh, video. Uh, you can see how to install uh, virtual box. You will find virtual box. How to install after install virtual box, just open and click a new and type here the cloud linux continue uh, this is select your version which uh, you if you download for 32 bit select 32 bit i have downloaded 64 bits i have selected 64 bit it's come under the linux only okay just click next assign the ram uh, is recommended showing 250 uh, but assign how much you, you have a ram if you have a 2 gb ram means you can assign 2 gb ram i am assigning 2 gb ram uh, just click and create a hard drive now and this is iso image virtual disk image created uh, just click next this is the hard disk size which i am going to assign at least uh, 25 gb uh, assign hard disk according to your hard disk size and this is the location is going to store so i am changing the location so i have changed my location just click to create now uh, go to settings and check the system and check this floppy after that go to storage uh, go uh, click on empty uh, that is uh, uh, no hard disk file this is hard disk location so we are going to assign hard disk location uh, just click to choose a path where you have uh, uh, download your iso image so we need to assign iso image uh, this one is my iso image you can see just click on to that iso image uh, 
uh, after that go to network assign your bridge adapter and this is one your hard disk and this is your cd rom okay just click ok and press to start now uh, as you can see now uh, screen automatic booting in 55 seconds means uh, it will be boot automatically here is a uh, option is showing about this one install or update uh, access system existing system and install the system with the basic builder or uh, resume your installation system uh, just go to install and update the system press enter so a dx font is showing uh, if you want to a test this means you can test it by pressing ok uh, press the tab and to skip this test uh, media checking after skip it found the lo installation local media showing now it's uh, installing So we need to press next. Uh, select your language, which country you belongs to, which language you want to uh, install. Click next. Uh, this is the keyboard language. Click next. And here is a storage type. That means device type. Uh, if you want to install specialized storage device means you can go to basics storage device so i'm going to select and next uh, yes discard any data before discarding any data remember if you have any data on your laptop desktop or server please take a backup and go ahead otherwise it will be formatted so please go ahead remember you if you have any data i'm going i don't have any data so i'm going to press discard any data so we need to check, check the uh, local host name that is local host local domain if you want to change means you can change by default okay the same uh, go and clicking next uh, this is the time zone select which country you belongs to time zone kolkata i've selected next and go ahead type a root password give uh, please remember this uh, root password password confirm the same password click next so it's provide a weak password you, you give a strong password I uh, use anywhere click and this is your uh, types of installation showing uh, this one means first option it will be use all the space you have whatever you have a partition means it will use this one and this one is replace if you have a windows or linux already this will be formatted linux and windows and it will install uh, cloud linux only if you want to uh, shrink the partition existing partition means you can create a, this one partition use a free space means if you have a given uh, free space like separate uh, so you can give, give this option and this one is a manually created partition so i will use a uh, use this all the space option before using take a backup and go click for the next right this if you want to do if you forget to miss any changes in previously uh, edition means you can go ahead back and by clicking go back and do the changes click to write changes to this now it's creating devices uh it's showing about this in network interface so i have a interface network uh, click ok and showing wire connection okay add it create it just click to available to all the users check everything is okay ip version dscp is required okay if you want to go for the uh, manually you can select this manually static ip address click apply and close that one okay now it's waiting to activate these devices now it's showing about this uh, type of installation if you want to install web services 
like uh, like will comes lamp uh, uh, samba php other services manual installation means it will be you can see on screen this cloud only install or you want to have a base updates and then afterwards you can have a update testing all those things you can check if you want to by clicking space uh, bar or mouse click on that one so you can install this base also if you require according to your purpose we can check otherwise you can uncheck and continue your installation if you want to add any additional software means responsibility you can add or else you can modify uh, if you want to check this see you can feature customize this software selection now or else after the installation also you can customize so what i will do we do is we'll customize later on this one so i'm going to customize later now click for next now installation is completed we need to reboot just click on reboot now uh, booting now so we need to login with the default username is root press enter type the password which we have given during the installation press enter now we have to login check save slash home okay so this is your installation of your cloud linux server release that version 6.4 and uh, the kernel is 2.6.232 is about showing and uh, so just click on to your mouse into that uh, cloud linux server if you want to come out of this just press uh, control of your right side of your keyboard it will be come out so this is the end of my installation of cloud linux video server installation 6.5 version latest and please uh, subscribe to cloud it cloud net and if you have a problem during the installation if you get any problem during the installation if you get any error miss uh, just comment below to my video and thank you for watching it cloud net